Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm super excited for today's class as always. We have a vinyasa flow class for building core strength. It's a little bit challenging um, for the core, which is good, but you're gonna get a nice flow and a nice stretch out at the same time. And I've also got a little surprise for you at the end. So grab your mat, grab some water, and we will go get started. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, especially if you enjoy the core stuff and subscribe to stay updated. I post out three new yoga classes every week. Thanks guys. Okay, my lovelies, we're gonna start our class in our child's pose. So just come to the end of your mat. Let the knees open, let the hands walk forward and just relax and settle into this pose. Take some nice deep breaths in and out of the belly. Letting go, relaxing into every exhale. Focusing on your breath, just allowing your mind to arrive with you on your mat. On your next inhale, just walk your fingers a little bit further forward. Straightening out the elbows, see if you can get a little bit of a deeper stretch with the shoulders and the upper back. On your next inhale, come forward into your tabletop position. Inhaling as the belly drops down to the mat and the chest opens, gaze lifts. And exhale, rounding through the spine. Inhale. And exhale to round. Inhale, belly drops and the chest opened last time. And exhaling to round this time, rounding through the spine. And when you've rounded, you're going to tuck your toes underneath and just hover your knees off the mat. Keep pressing into your upper back, knees nice and low, holding for three breaths. Now exhale, press back into your down dog, but just switching on the core. Inhale, draws you back into your tabletop, hovering the knees, really grip through your fingertips so your weight isn't in the heel of the hand. Just holding there for a breath. And then extend all the way back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, hover your tabletop. Exhale, down dog. One more, inhale to hover. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Shoulders just above the wrists. Core nice and strong. So you're pressing into the upper back and you're drawing the front of your hips forward. Then exhale, press back into your down dog. And we're going to do that two more times. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog, and this time you can walk your dog out. You can take a couple of breaths here. And finding stillness in your down dog. On your next inhale, right leg lifts up behind you. Straightening it out. And then as you exhale, we're opening up the hip. So just open your right hip over your left hip. Dropping your right heel down towards your left glute. On an exhale, drawing your right knee to your right elbow. And then extend it all the way back and open up through the hips on an inhale. And we're going to do that three more times. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale. Pressing all the way back, open up the hips. Exhale, knee to elbow. 
Inhale to extend, these are horribly slow. Exhale, draw knee to elbow and hold it there for a count of four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the back knee down and place your right foot to the outside of your right hand. So you're coming down into your lizard pose. And just take a little rest here. If you want, you can stretch out the wrist. So just flip to the back of the left hand. And you can alternate. The first part of this class, we're on the wrists a little bit, but we're gonna move down to the forearms and then the rest of the class, we're gonna be seated. So give those wrists a little stretch out if you need them, if you need it. Or maybe go a little bit deeper into the hips by dropping down to the forearms. I'm gonna stay for three more breaths here. And then slowly coming back onto the hands. We're gonna take it into side plank from here. I'm gonna throw a challenge in. So you can keep your left knee down as you draw back to your side plank, or you're gonna hold your right knee with your right hand and you're gonna draw it back with you. So you can just do a normal side plank if you need to, otherwise back toes tuck underneath, lift up the left knee and you draw back to your side plank, bringing your right knee with you. So you're squeezing up through the side of the body, Embracing all of the wobbles. We're gonna hold for five. Keep lifting four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring your right forearm to the mat. Fingertips facing forward. We're coming into side plank on our right forearm. See if you can stack the feet staying here, or you're gonna lift your left knee to touch your left elbow. Drawing it in for one, and extending for one. Drawing it in for two, then extending. You've got two more, draw it in for three. Extend, last one, in for four. And then coming down into your forearm plank, interlacing the fingers together. I'm gonna find a little dolphin pose. So from here, lifting your hips up, head between the shoulders, and start to walk your feet in, just as far as the body will let you. Keep pressing through the forearms. And either holding here, pressing your heels down towards the mat, or on your next inhale, right leg lifts to three-legged dog. And you just hold, gently pressing your left heel to the mat. You've got three, two, one. Slowly lower your right foot down, inhale, left leg lifts. This time the right heel is pressing down for three, two, one. Slowly from here, walk back out into your forearm plank. And we do some little rainbow dips. So you're gonna drop your hips to the left, draw all the way up and around, drop them to the right. And just keep that going for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way back to center. A little challenge. Press up onto the hands. Flow down through your chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for three deep breaths. And then when you're ready, we're gonna switch over sides. So inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, stack the hips. Left hip over right hip. Left heel down towards your right glute. And we're gonna go again four times. So as you exhale, left knee draws to the left elbow. Inhale, all the way back and up, open up through the hips. Exhale, knee to elbow. 
Inhale to press back. Exhale. Inhale, all the way back and up, last one. Exhale, knee to elbow and hold at your hip for four, three, two, one. Right knee lowers as the left foot steps to the top of the mat, outside of your left hand. So we're into our lizard pose. Again, you might want to stretch the wrists out. Or you just enjoy that little rest and that stretch into the hips. Maybe coming down to the forearms for your last three breaths here. Making your way back up onto the hands. It's the same thing, we're gonna come into a side plank. So modify if you need to. We're gonna tuck the back toes underneath. Maybe you're holding on to your left knee. This is all maybes. <laughs> We're gonna spin onto the outside of the right foot, draw that left leg back, and then squeeze up through the side of the body as much as you can. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly and with control, come down to your left forearm, spinning into our side plank on our left side. So from here, we've got that little challenge of drawing our right knee to our right elbow. And extending for one. In for two. And in for three. You've got one more. Good, and in for four. Gently coming round back into your forearm plank. We're interlacing the fingers together. We're going back up into our dolphin. So slowly lift the hips up. Walk the feet in, crown of the head is lifted off the mat. Same thing again, but we're gonna see if we can switch it up this time. So inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. And as you exhale, see if you can open up the hips in your dolphin pose. So you're opening your right hip over your left hip. Holding here, just another count of five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, right foot comes down. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left hip over right hip, drop that left heel to your right glute. For five, four, three, two, one. Slowly walk out to your forearm plank. We've got those 10 little, not dolphin dips, rainbow planks. So dropping down, whichever side. Lifting high as you come all the way up and over. For two, good, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, turn back to centre, press up to the hands, exhale through your chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale resting in your downward facing dog. Take a moment to just pause. Try and find a little bit of length, enjoy the stretch. And slowly from here, just bringing your feet together so the insides of your feet are touching. We're gonna slowly start to walk the hands back as you lift the heels off the mat. So we're coming into a little toe balance. I'm going to bring the hands to the heart centre. We're just going to twist. So keep your hips and your knees facing forward. And we're twisting open towards the right side. So you're looking back towards the right thumb. Keep gently guiding the left shoulder forward and the right shoulder back. Then inhale, draw back to centre. Ooh, almost went then. Keep the thighs pressing together, and we're twisting open towards the left. Hips and legs stay facing forward. See if your gaze can look back behind you. 
keep pulling your left shoulder back, your right shoulder forward. And then come all the way back to centre and make your way to seated. So from here, a little bit of fun in our boat pose, we're going to carry on with the twisting theme. So bring the hands to the heart centre, we're lifting up the feet and you're leaning back so you feel the core switching on. Drawing in a nice deep inhale and as you exhale, twisting open towards the right side. You're leaning back and we're just going to hold, letting the gaze look towards that right thumb. Just for three, two, one, come all the way back to centre on your inhale. Exhale, open towards the left. Hold it. You can do it just for three, two, one. Inhale, back to center. Now we're going to come down to low boat, but we're still going to twist open to the side. So you're going to lower to your lower back, but then you're going to twist open. So see if you can open those arms over towards the right side. And holding lower back, pressing into the mat. For three, Two, one, inhale, draw all the way back up to center. And exhale, lower down and twist open towards that left side. Hold it for three, two, one, inhale, come all the way up. I'm gonna go again. Exhale, this time, stay lifted, but twist open towards the right. Core should be firing up. For three, two, one. You can tell because my voice starts to go. <laughs> Open towards the left as you exhale. For three, two, one. Inhale. You're going to feel the hip flexors working as well. That's good. We're going to lower to our low boat as we twist to the side. Keep reaching through those left fingers for three, two, one, inhale, come all the way up. And lower down, left side, last time. Your lower back is, off, is on the mat, but your upper back is off the mat. And you're reaching with your right fingers forward for three, two, one. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring the soles of the feet together. I always like to stretch out the hip flexors after our boat pose. So sitting up nice and tall on an inhale. And just relax into your exhale. Finding three deep breaths here. And then slowly coming up on your inhale, bring your knees back together. I said I had a little surprise for you at the end. And this is it, we're just gonna do a little bit of Work for our core. We're gonna finish strong. So we're gonna extend the legs as you lay down onto your back. Hands are gonna come, or arms are gonna come either side of the body for the first round. Your option is to bring the hands to the back of the head if they start to ache. But if you can, we're gonna reach up and we're gonna tap past the legs. We're gonna keep that going. We're gonna do two lots of 20. I'm gonna count in my mind. I'll count down for the last five. Five, four, three, two, one, relax down so the head can rest. Fingertips press into the mat and we're pushing up for 20. I count you down for the last five. So just the lower back lifts off the mat, feet press to the ceiling. Five, you can do it. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna go again, last round. If the next starts to ache, hands come to the head. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Relax down, press your fingertips into the mat. Last little thing we're gonna do, pushing up for 20. You can do it, five, four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in. Well done, we've worked every part of the core there. We'll rock from side to side. Hug the right knee in, extend the left leg. Let that right leg cross over you as you take a spinal twist. Slowly come back to centre. Hug the left knee in, straighten out the right leg. And cross it over again into that spinal twist. And then come all the way back to centre. You can just extend into your legs a very well earned Shavasana. Just let the arms rest either side of the body, palms open to receive, let the feet turn out to the sides. Just close the eyes and start to relax on your exhale. Knowing that for the next minute or so, there's nowhere else for you to be, nothing else for you to do. Just let your body take this rest, let it take what it needs. And slowly just start to invite some gentle movement back in. Maybe hug the knees in and give the back a rock from side to side. Just take your time to come back to a seated position. Bring our palms together at the heart center. Just drawing in a nice long inhale, lengthen the spine. And then relax into your exhale. Closing with gratitude as you take this time to thank yourself for taking this time out of your day, devoting it to both your mind and your body, and in particular, the core. Bow the head to the heart. Namaste.